Okay, let's do some more Animal Crossing if you're watching this later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking and have you been enjoying so far? I did miss the screen. <laughs> so we gotta wait now. It's okay. It's the uh, the fishing competition thingy. I don't think I've done one before, so... It's around for the next 45 minutes. Should be enough time to do something with it. They'll, they'll do, just do that right away. There's some items you get from it, so why not? I'm just getting straight to it. Let me just do this first. Hey, <laughs> confirming. I need to take off the the wig. There we go. Back to normal. So I always miss this event. Fly? Oh. No, I haven't gotten it. I haven't tried, to be honest. I mean, maybe today there might be an opportunity to get fresh garbage, so... What if it really is the thing where... Where it's that? Anyway, this first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, hurry up. So it's the same as the fish, uh, the bug catching one. Wait, so could you just amass bait and just cheat? Like, would you not do that? Oh, I'm an idiot. I messed that up. You could. Hmm. Got to close your eyes to fish. Yeah, me too. I just wasn't doing it at that time. This isn't a massive amount of time you get. Oh, 
Oh my god. It's one of the times that I want, like, it to just bite right away. I'll do this until uh, at least the time that it's available in. That's what that one is. Another purple. Ooh, good. Bells is not that big a deal entry. I think going up the beach is probably the best way. I've never seen his rewards, so we'll see. Shock! It's a good start. Love how stupid that fish looks. Yeah, it's a massive derp. Big derp. Shock. I almost put my going live notification thing as just the sound of Grover telling you live, but I don't think most people were around for the conversation last night. Uh, 
That's disappointing. I mean, would I get more f that much more fish with bait? It's too late now. At this point, I can't, like, even if I was to reel it in. I'll keep the sunfish. So I can get a model of it. I'll be able to get everything in half an hour. Not yet. Just do all the fishing first. I probably should have changed the clock back a little. Oh well. That's fine. I hope I do get garbage. fish. Five's probably the best I can do. Unless I'm really lucky. I just hate that the animation of you reeling it out still counts as your time. Oh. It 
didn't count, did it? <laughs> the last one didn't count. Boo. Like, if it's on the hook, it should count. It was on its way out. I had caught it. I should probably customize my rod as well so it doesn't break. The other annoying thing is you're still dealing with your ability during this. Time for magic. Oops, that finger slipped. Probably gonna cost me. The items are as expensive as the bug ones, because the bug ones you have to catch quite a bit. I would imagine the threshold is lower for this. <laughs> Given you, you catch like about a third of what you can catch with bugs. just this whole variable of like, well, how many times is it going to nibble before I can actually catch it? I don't think I'm going to get any more than this. Like, I'd have to pretty much land it right now. And I'm not sure. Yeah, it's too late. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. I'm just gonna walk back. Mm. 
Alright. I'll redeem like every few. Okay. Empty and... Why isn't this on the main menu? Fishing rod stand. Ooh. Some of the stuff I'm going to put in front of the, uh, the shop that I set up. Now the fish in the vicinity, really? I'm going in the pipe. Okay, I mean, it did eat up quite a few seconds, but I figured if it reset what was in the water, it'd be worth it. One time I wanted to <laughs> just give me the, the fish on the first nibble. goal with this is just to at least beat five. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna get to five. Not enough time to catch that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Come on, I want to beat five. I got 20 minutes. Okay, good. Just needs to keep giving me more of these first bite ones. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I might be able to do it. If I can get two more. Oh, there's a balloon, but I'm not going to get distracted by it. Ah, oh, it's going into the ocean. It's not going the other way. Come on, one more fish, one more fish, one more fish, one more fish. Come on. I'm just gonna let that balloon go. Come on! There. Okay, I got it. I beat it. New record. I think without using bait, seven's probably as good as you can get. as much as I can. Marine pop wall. Good. 
fish print. Okay. Keep going. The bug off is easier. Ah, uh, knock it off with the presents. <laughs> I thought for a sec that was a fly in the background, but it was a mosquito. I had to do a double take. Fish. It's a bad cast. Ah. Oh. Unless there's a shadow over here right the second. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's it. We're done. I'm trying to do more as many rounds of this as possible before the time runs out, so. Lights, okay. Not that. Hang on. I really wish that it was, I want to compete, I want to redeem points as, like, the first two menu items. Okay, let's try again.
Good enough. Oh, what is this? There we go. Look at six. Good. It just has to be kind of me. I wonder if when the fishing tourney is on, they disable garbage. I would like to get to seven, but I guess I have to be really lucky for that to happen. eight minutes left. Uh, <laughs> these conversation trees are so long. Statue. Ah. I may have enough for two more. I'm quick enough. Okay, hurry up. <laughs> Maybe one more. This might be the last one. I think I have to redeem my points. Really? No fish? Okay, that kind of makes up for it. Wow. 
Wow, that sucked. <laughs> Okay, okay, this, this is fine now. Kind of caught up. Another one up there. I see it. Oh, that was a bad move. <laughs> it's blocking the way. I thought I could squeeze in there. I can't. I was fooled. This is as good as it's gonna get. I won't be able to catch another one. Okay, go, go, go. I don't think I have time for another one. I need to give myself enough time to redeem what I got. And also start another one and then redeem again. It just doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. If this conversation was like half as long as what it is, I might be able to squeeze in another round. The fact that this conversation takes like about a minute to do everything. No, 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 no. Crap, and then you have to restart. Ah! Press the wrong option. That option, please. I might be able to do it. Alright, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I wonder if it will let me finish it, let's see. Thank you. 
Well, the contest is officially over now, so... I'm curious if I can even talk to him or he'll just be gone. going all right but eh. oh that's not bad okay come on give me one more It's not gonna work even if I reel it in. It was, yeah, unexpected. Oh, so let me finish this round. Give me that side, cool. Alright, cool. An umbrella. Okay, well, probably not. <laughs> I'm not convinced I'll be doing this game still by then. But it was neat. Got a sandcastle. Okay, cool. Well, now we can go and do the rest of whatever today is. There we go. I don't know how many more items you can get from him. I feel like the umbrella was one of the last items I got. But maybe random is random. Just... 
Oh, that is a massive cooler. Holy crap. I was not expecting it to be that big. It's like monstrous. Okay, like. I'm gonna decorate this. Lies, this, you, you can't put stuff on the cooler. I got. Oh, but see, that's like, uh. I kind of wish I would just place it without the mannequin. Fish print? Oh, it's like a wall hanging thing. Let me check these fossils out and then I can start placing the stuff that I bought overnight. Wait, what is this? Oh, gyro. Right. I forgot that I'm placing them here now.
I'm just never gonna get this last fossil. Nah, no, that's it. Wait, was coffee one of them? No, okay. Also, a simple panel on sale. I might buy a few of these. The very least, like at the stall where plants are being sold, or the thing that I set up, I'll put it in front of there. I'll keep some spare. I bet there's different ones you can get as well, so. Kind of decent too. Could set up an outdoor clothing store almost. Just so I have options. I mean, I think get rid of this, to be honest, and just go... That looks good. So this stuff can go. Wait, and take Euro? Oh wait, that I know what that is. It's okay. Thing I bought.
schon, er hat Spike. Ah. So that's fine, like uh I'm not gonna get picky that that's a two gap here. Alright. So then security. This room, come on. But then, why can I walk there? Hang on. Or I just hold on. There's a simple solution to that. Just do this. Get rid of one rope, and now there should be room. There we go. Security. <laughs> okay. I might put one over here as well. D, please, you're in the way. Ah. Alright, let me just... The middle hedge seems occlusive. It sometimes does that. Sometimes custom patterns, when they're placed on simple panels, they, for some reason, do that. I'm not sure why. It's just under certain circumstances. Don't you dare go back in there. Stay away. There's room. Body step back, if you will. Every time. I just can't make things look nice because I always come to check. No, come on. There's, there's, there is absolutely room here. That's fine. There's room. It's like, even if the fridge is inaccessible, I don't care. It's 
fine. It works. I guess I'm gonna get another security gnome. Can't have too much security at a venue. Wait. <laughs> hey, Clive, thanks for the raid. How's it going? What you what were you up to today? I'm not sure if I have that one. Oh. I can't interact with it. Portal Revolution. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've seen bits and pieces of that. Yeah. How are you finding it? The last mod was pretty good. Hey, Mikey, how's it going? But, man, the... Yeah, the other mod that they did... They were, like, a special release for. That one... Some of the later puzzles, they were really tricky. Garden gnome, where are you? There you are. I'm just putting finishing touches on like my home, which is I guess a venue. It's getting there. I'm gonna go customize those panels. Everyone's still in their fishing stuff. Should do more ROM hacks and then I can sideload onto the analog. I mean, I can sideload onto many a console. I do have, um, homebrew stuff that I was planning to do at some point. Not that, not that, uh, wrong, 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 wrong one. The puzzles are decently designed, someone into a voice acting is what you'd expect from a fan mod. I've definitely heard about the voice acting being, you know, just mediocre, it's okay. What are the puzzles involved? Like, what's the overall, uh, theme with them? Because the other one was, like, having the, uh, extra dimension of time with your portal gun. Do they have a specific gimmick that they're doing this time around with this one? What kind of ROM hacks do you think I should do, Confirmy? There's a new Game Boy Advance game that's coming out this year that I've, uh, I've ordered. It's like a dog in a mech suit. <laughs> that, that's gonna be cool. Is this the real one? Nah, it's a fake one. We'll buy it so it refreshes. WarioWare base? There's WarioWare based ones? I haven't even played the OG WarioWare, would you believe that? If there's a gimmick you haven't got on that fire. Okay, so right now it's, it's just your standard 
It's just more stages of portal. The time portal one was really cool, yeah. But some of those last puzzles, oh man, I remember. It just one level took like a good hour and a half. I forgot which one, but it was worth it in the end. Just at the time, oh, it was a struggle. <laughs> I'm not even sure I 100% I, I could replicate, like, how I did it. If, even if I was to watch my own VOD, I'd be like, well, what did, I, what did I even do to solve it in the end? It was just trial and error, and eventually I got it. I don't have to move stuff today, so oh well. Yeah. It's cool that they're giving those mods, like, such nice treatment on on the Steam store page. Just kind of highlighting them and showcasing them. Okay, we'll go with this one, and where is that pattern that I got? That one. Yeah, it's like they're giving them nice recognition, and more importantly, they're not charging for it. Unlike some other, some other game companies where they try to make money off mods. Have I been able to play the Virtual Boy Warrior? Wait, WarriorWare or Warrior Land? Or is there like a Virtual Boy WarriorWare game? The Virtual Boy is like one of these pieces of technology that's a curiosity to me. And it'd be one of those things that like if I had... If I had this, like just this income that was disposable and... I could buy what I wanted without any concerns. I would pony up and get one just because kind of like a cool display piece. Just a piece of nerd history. But also just the fact that it, that thing never made it to Australia. Like, it was long discontinued before they bothered with it. But yeah, there's like a couple of games on it that are kind of lost gems. Like, I heard that warrior land on it was really good. That it was a pretty decent game, it was just unfortunate that it was on, on that thing. And I just don't think they'll ever re-release it. When the 3DS came out, I was thinking, oh man, they might... They might offer the old, uh, Virtual Boy games, because now that you can do stereoscopic 3D without glasses... Um, it might be a cool thing to do. But they never did. I think they just have... By doing that, they would be acknowledging one of their biggest failures. I think the best I can hope for is, like, if the analog pocket gets a core for it. And it supports it. But I don't think... I don't know. I, I'm not well versed in the technicals of it. But I don't think they can. I'd like to play it one day. I mean, I'm sure there are ways you can currently using uh, the word that Nintendo hates to hear, but I'm, in, I'm not really in a rush. The only reason they didn't do it is because there isn't nostalgia for it. Well, you can't really have nostalgia for something that wasn't allowed to exist. Like, it was on the market for less than a year, if I recall correctly. It only sold in Japan and America from memory, right? And they just never bothered with Europe or Australia. Yeah. And even the ones that are out there, they're 
probably starting to malfunction now because the way the technology works it's like something that'll ultimately need maintenance anyway many kids couldn't tolerate playing it yeah because it was just an uncomfortable thing to wear you had to wear it on your face and then you kind of had to prop it up on the table People have come up with DIY solutions where there's a strap, but even then, it's just the low resolution and, you know, it's one of those things that it was a device that was ahead of its time. Released too early. The controller looked awful. Apparently I heard the controller's kind of comfortable, surprisingly. Like the looks are deceiving. That it's pretty ergonomic and it's like ambidextrous. Like you can use it and be comfortable either way. I think the saddest thing about that thing is just um, the dude that developed, well, came up with the design and everything was the guy that um, fathered the Game Boy and then that was the last product he got to make because the guy passed away in a, a traffic accident shortly after the The dual D-pad trips you out. I don't think it was ever used for anything. <laughs> Made a ball of handheld. Oh yeah, like... It's so- it's just such an iconic thing, the Game Boy. Even after the Game Boy band- uh, band brand has, like, been long retired, people still recognize it. Yeah, that's... It's definitely one of those things that's a curiosity for me, and... It'd be nice to have as a collector's thing, but... The practicality of owning one, that's... Okay. First of all, the only way I could source one is, like, from America, basically. So it's like, the cost of it would be insane with the exchange rate, and then also shipping it here. And then because of the cost of it being insane, it's probably, like, going to incur import costs as well. It's just, like, I truly have to be in a position where money doesn't matter to be able to get it. But... I think one, one that's more uh, ascertainable is... There's a game on the NES that's one of the, one of the later games that was released. It didn't sell well, but it had pretty big names involved in it and it plays like a Mega Man game but um it just didn't do well and it's become one of the more expensive games just because it wasn't well received but it, it looks really good but yeah it's I mean it's expensive but it's not you know Unaffordable expensive, it's just like, you have to shell out for it. The game's called, uh, it's called Little Samson in America, and it's called Lickle in Japan. But it's a pretty cool game. You bought a retro handheld, so you're looking forward to play the retro grates. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's a lot. I kind of envy you in that regard. Like, you get to experience some of that stuff for the first time, and there's a lot of games where I, w I wish I could go back and experience them for the first time. I mean, I'm still experiencing new retro games, like... 
I had a blast with Warrior World, even though it's not the greatest 3D platformer, it still put a dumb old grin on my face at times. something bigger. Okay, uh, I guess do the gardening now. Just get rid of these flowers that I don't need. Do you have anything specific you're gonna try out? Or I guess like a, a console that you're gonna go for first. The GBA Mario and Luigi game, Superstar Saga, that's a great game. That's one of my favorite GBA games. That's the one I played last year. <laughs> it's good. Though, good luck. The end of it can be brutal. You really enjoyed Bowser's Inside Story. You'll, like, you'll really like Superstar Saga then. Exploit safe states, you're not above that. <laughs> Honestly, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, that last. I think the last area. The last area is just a bit of a struggle in that game. Everything else, the pacing is perfect, but. Man, does it take, like, a massive difficulty spike at the end. You hate, hate the way saving was in retro games. That's the best they could do. <laughs> it's not like they had an alternative, it's just, that's just how things were. Okay, there's, there's like a solution. You just take a nice big glass, right? You walk to the fridge, you open the fridge, you take out the bottle, and then you pour yourself a cup of get good. Nothing was worse than GameCube memory cards frequently killing themselves. I've never experienced a GameCube, so was that like a common thing that memory cards just corrupted? Huh. All the time? Wow, okay. I can't say I ever experienced that with PlayStation memory cards. Family was a Mads Cats family. So was mine in some regards. Not always, but for memory cards, we had a Mad Cats memory card. That I definitely remember. And we also had this other one that was like one of those dodgy ones that said it offered triple the storage size. 
Like it was an off-brand one, but I mean, it worked. You remember getting an official memory card and covered it up? Yeah. I never, I never got an official memory card for the PlayStation. The one thing that I have that I, I feel like there's like a, a library of gems there is the PS Vita. Because I did have one of those, and it's somewhere. And there are ways to be able to take video from it. But there's some pretty decent games on it. Because the way that thing worked was like, at launch they had a ridiculous amount of titles on it, and then Sony just kind of gave up on it. But the titles that did release on it were pretty decent. And it has the Rondo of Blood remake on it, which they haven't really brought to anything else. That was like a PSP game, but you could play it on the Vita. They have a Katamari game on there that I heard was really good. I just have to find it and I guess like do the do the thing to let it play homebrew, and then you can install the thing that lets you stream it to a PC. But I played Gravity Rush. That game was really good. For, for being a PS Vita game, it was very detailed. And though the remake on the PS4 is like the definitive way to play it and the better way, it was still really cool for its time. Like, that OLED screen. That was another one of those things that was ahead of its time. It's just... I think the ultimate problem with that thing was, like... Nintendo's approach to the DS was, like, games that came out for it were the next big thing in whatever franchise they released. Whereas in the stuff Sony did, it was more like, oh, well, this is the portable version of a game. They just kind of felt lesser. With a few exceptions, but in general. They just felt like watered down versions of PS2 games. Or PS3 games, sorry. PS3 was around at that time. But it was a cool device, man. I, I bought the Binding of the Isaac on that thing and it was amazing. Sony made great hardware, but Nintendo knew better what to do with those, pretty much. It's like, when they m released Mario Kart for the, the 3DS, they called it Mario Kart 7. And it was the next major entry, and it wasn't really a compromised experience, it was, it was great. I mean, even the Mario Kart DS release, kind of crazy, because that was... If I'm not mistaken, that's like the first time a Nintendo game had really good network play. Online, like... Surprisingly well how it did it. No, I... Kart DS was amazing. Yeah, it really was. I used to play it on breaks at university. It's like, we'd sit in the student lounge and we'd be doing Mario Kart DS tournaments. The one title I, I wish would have been better was Mario 64 DS. Because that game was fantastic in terms of the content, but the thing that was its biggest downfall was just the control scheme.
Um, I don't know. It's something that could do with a re-release, just because of the extra content and the extra characters. That was a launch game? It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like a tech demo to show it off initially, and they also made a launch title. It, it blew my mind seeing that, because... I mean, the GBA was considered a portable Super Nintendo, and just seeing Mario 64 running on a, on that DS, it was, it was crazy. Yeah. Right, am I done watering? I think I'm done watering. Did I water these? Wait, I didn't? Okay, whatever. Hey, Laylee, how's it going? The stylus controls, yeah. That was, I think that was the least awkward way to play it, because the D-pad just... at times would trip you up. That's the way I remember playing it. I still have my copy of it. I think that's it. Roses. I'm pretty sure I watered, and then I did all the other stuff. I don't know. I might move these later. You played a ton of the casino games. Casino games? I played those like clubhouse games. I remember clubhouse games. Clubhouse games was, was awesome. I mean the ones in Mario 64. Okay, yeah, I getcha. The mini games. I like the one where you had to, um, it was like the trampoline one. Alright, let's go do this. I would just, on the way home, would try and get a better score. I'm still hoping to get a special island. The only thing I would like to do more DS games, but now I'm kind of torn because now that I'm running things at a higher resolution <laughs> stream-wise, it's like... I don't think there's anything I can do to make the picture look better on them. It's kind of like they get stretched up and then they look blurry. Unless I resort to the, uh, the E word, which Nintendo hates. But then you don't get, it's kind of, uh, the problem with that is like, it's part of the experience having the DS and the touchscreen, you know? If you do, if you do do that, well, it's not quite the same. Particularly, with, I'm talking about like original DS games that were designed to really use the touch screen a lot. 3DS games, it's uh, the touch screen is to just used for maps and stuff. Typically, it's not that big a deal. Oops. Hey. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do. Wait, is this thing in the way? I guess it kind of is. Alright. Oh, what? I was too slow? It's alright, I got gold out of it anyway. I'll harvest the pumpkins, I may as well. But I mean, there's 
a few of those games, like... There's... Mario 64, there's... Um, the Castlevania games on the DS are excellent as well. And then, of course, the definitive version of Chrono Trigger is, like, on there. Which, I am so glad I have a copy of that. <laughs> the Simpsons game? I, I never tried that. Um, oh, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, man, those two, like that's peak Pokemon games right there. On the topic of like Simpsons game, a game that has been on my mind is uh, Hit and Run. Do you remember Hit and Run? It's like bootleg GTA style game. With the Simpsons. The crazy thing is the creators apparently either been working on a remake or has finished one. There's, there's like screenshots for it, but you know, has been done without the permission of the uh, the studios. This is like obviously just a passion project. And it looks really good, but the dude's like, it's unlikely that it'll ever see the light of day. Did that game come out on the GameCube? Because I, the way I played it, it was, there was a PC version of it. But I do remember it being a PS2 game. But I don't use the tool wheel because the tool wheel annoys me. Like I like the I like the idea of it, right? But the problem is when tools break, it it removes it from the wheel, and you have to re-add it. So it's like I can't have the muscle memory of the wheel because it's such a dumb thing. It, it doesn't keep the tool and just disable it. It just gets rid of it, and then you have to rebind it anyway. So I've just gotten used to not using it. And it's honestly not that different. Think about it. It's like you press up on the D-pad and then you, like, find it. Or you press X and then you find it. It's just, it might take, like, another second or so, but... It's not that much extra effort. And it's just one of those things when it comes to UI design that... This game, man, I love it, but there's just so many things that bother me about it. And the context is, you know, I do that stuff for a living. That's my job, is, like, working with interface designs and product experiences. So. That's why that stuff stands out. Wait, could this be Garbage Island? I should be checking if this is Garbage Island. There seems to be a lot of fish of the same size. Can't expect much for the UI when they gave us the eShop. But that's the thing, it's like, it's not the same team. It's multiple teams doing the same thing. Oh! Cool. Okay, so it is actually fish. Come on, gold statue. Damn, it's a recipe. Stardew Valley with this graphic style would be sweet. You know what's interesting is that I've never gotten into a Stardew game that's in 3D too much. 
well, Harvest Moon, because Story of Seasons slash, I guess, before Harvest Moon became kind of mediocre. It was this, it's just, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, for those games, like, I prefer the 2D style. But there's quite a few, there's like... Story of Seasons, there's Rune Factory. What else? There's, there's so many farming sims now. Didn't know Harvest Moon had a 3D style. Yeah, um... If you want something like that, look up the Harvest Moon remakes, like... It's called Story of Seasons now, because Harvest Moon, the... The, uh, what do you call it? The trademark, I guess, is, like, owned by the developers, and then it's... The team is, like, now working on Story of Seasons, which is separate to it. I don't know, there's a whole intricacy to it. Okay, good. Let me see how I can get a fly. Um, pretty much the way to do it is look up a look up a story story of seasons game for the PS4, and then see if you can find Harvest Moon with the same title. And if you do, that's a remake, and that's one of the excellent ones. That's the way to play it. So they've just made the the 2D game 3D. If I wasn't so lazy, I would open up my box of PS4 games right now and tell you one, but it's all the way on the other side of the room, and I have to open the box and then rummage through the games, and... <laughs> um, but Rune Factory's alright, like that one... It's a bit anime, but it does serve the purpose of like being a, a farming sim game. Uh, there's one that's specifically a remake of a GBA game, and that's the one that my brother loves. He got really excited when they announced the remake of it. Okay, so you're telling me if I just run around the island that there'll be a fly on this tire, right? What if I take that piece of garbage back to my island? Would it work? Not sure about on other islands. Yeah. I mean, let's not... Oh, I can't just walk across this. Hang on. I'll try and get more garbage. But it's not really a confirmed thing, right? It's just... We're trying to think of why it hasn't worked yet. And I guess that's the only reason, is just because I got the trash out of storage. It has to be fresh trash. Get, get out of here. Fresh gourmet trash. Yeah. On the topic of, like, trash. <laughs> Not literal trash, but... So I went to see the, uh, the new Wonka movie today. Not tr That movie's not trash, by the way. It's good. I like the movie. But, um... On the way there... They had, uh, these posters for... This new action movie. And my brother was like, have you seen the trailers for that movie? I'm like, no, first time I'm seeing it. 
So it's this action movie where I swear it's like when they do a TV show and they put a fake trailer on the TV show, like imagine Rick and Morty made up an action movie with just a ridiculous premise. That's what it is, except it's unironically that. Like, has Jason Statham in it, and from what I gather, the plot is like... Oh, what's the name of the movie? I'll find out the name. <laughs> but the trailer is ridiculous, and I, I burst out laughing, like, just because of how absurd the plot is. Hang on. Jason Statham movie... Yeah, the movie is called The Beekeeper. Like, you know, the profession, the beekeeper. And so... It's... The dude is supposedly an action hero, but he's a, he's a beekeeper. Like, actual beekeeper. And I could not follow the thread of, like, what this story is going to be. But, you know, there's some crime syndicate doing something nefarious. And here comes Jathan Statham, like, beating the crap out of people in an outfit that I swear, it's like, you know, someone's come to clean the pool. <laughs> That's big. He's just dressed that way the whole time. And he just has just that, the, the voice where it's like, ah, I have a deep voice. I'm an action hero. And the line, the line that got me... It's just, you know, when they have the whole thing where the hero is, like, showing how virtuous they are and that sort of thing. His line is, I protect the hive. <laughs> as soon as he said that. Oh, man. And the loosest connection they have to, like, the whole beekeeper and hive thing is, I think, the criminals are, like, running some kind of... I don't know, hacking network, and the symbol for it is like a B, so it's like, oh, okay, the criminal, haha, <laughs> that's so clever, the criminals have a B as their logo, and Jathan Statham is the beekeeper, it's just, man, <laughs> just, the whole thing, I was like, this can't be real, this is like, this is a Rick and Morty skit, but yet, it's, it's real. If you're morbidly curious, look up the, the trailer to that movie. And it's another one of these trailers where they show the entire plot of the movie pretty much in the trailer. Well, let me do a... a few laps. I know it's kind of boring, but... I want this fly. Am I gonna beat up that rock? Which rock? This one? I think I've done that one, haven't I? Oh, the one up there. Yeah. I probably should, huh? Money. Um, anyway, the, uh, the Wonka movie was good. I enjoyed it. Am 
Might as well go for the shark, I guess. Ah, oh, it's a fake shark. Uh Oh! Oh! Okay, it's a hundred... It has to be, it has to be, it has to be this. No, ca catch it. Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! It's a mosquito? Ah! Oh, I thought it was a fly. Damn it. It was, because it was on it, that's why. Man, that's top tier, top tier trolling by the game. Hey, I heard you wanted to catch a fly. Uh, uh I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it, like. I really don't want this to be the rest of what I'm doing. I don't think this island is big enough for things to respawn on. Like, I would have to scare things, and butterflies are just difficult to scare away. I'm just gonna bring it back with me and hope for the best, it's just... Because I'm not putting it into storage, right? So what's the difference? <laughs> Like, surely it's still fresh? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, even the movie poster for this movie looks ridiculous. Oh, it's like it's gotten a 53% on Metacritic. <laughs> 67 on Rotten Tomatoes. 6.7 on IMDB. Okay. It's pretty funny. Okay. I protect the hive. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'm just finding dumb things funny. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. I'm just being lazy with the fish. Okay, so let's try this, or go from one end of the island to the other, and hopefully that'll bring a fly. What if it's just garbage from the same day. Uh, but then I wouldn't explain it because... I don't know.
I'm trying to find reasoning as to why I haven't found something, but shouldn't be that rare. I have the hive now. Is my island too perfect? I'll oh, stop. I know my stuff looks good. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's saying I should let more weeds grow on it. But it doesn't mention anything about weeds. I mean, tomorrow is Sunday. I can just get like a stack of turnips and just let them rot. Just one, one set of ten. I'll scare bugs as well, so then it respawns. That'd be such like a clickbait title. Hey, YouTubers! Is my island too perfect? <laughs> Did you know that if your island is too perfect, it won't spawn flies? A lot of redditors say the beach is the best spot as well. I guess, I mean, I'm willing to try, it's no big deal, but that could be just a case of confirmation bias, you know? It's just, okay, it, it could very well be that someone did catch a fly on the beach, but is it the best spot for it? I don't know. Gonna try. I mean, I'll just drop them. the other thing is like does it tie I mean I guess it would but I find that the can feels like more garbage than a tire does you know okay let's roll with this I can't believe the effort I'm going to just to get the fly. But I guess even if I do get the turnip tomorrow, I have to wait like a week. For them to spoil. This is just an actual island paradise where there's no flies. Let's say we're going to try for the next 10 minutes. I'm just going to do laps. 
But if it doesn't happen in the next 10 minutes, I'm just gonna leave it. Wait, have I gotten the daily recipe? I don't think I have. Hold on. I need to find who's crafting. Not you. Oh, the judging. Well, the homes. Okay. crafting no huh what you would be would I sell that to you for 450 yeah go for it I don't think I've ever had them ask me when I visit them Need it. So that's fine. When they ask for stuff like that, I'll I'll say yes. My fly. I think I might just have to go with the turnips. I don't want to do this forever, but like... Wait, doesn't um, skipping time ruin the turnips? I think I remember that. It does? Maybe I could force ruin them. Going backwards. Okay, well that's an easy way to do it. You could just buy like one... I'd have to get up in the morning. <laughs> well, I guess I don't necessarily have to. I just turn back the clock and then... Yeah. I might do that. Because, like, really? The garbage is not giving me the fly? It's not that rare. Oh, hold on. More checks for the crafting thing. Crafting either. Hmm. The house does look a little empty without the sign. 
<laughs> I should buy another one and then just gift it to her so that it fills in the gap. Because uh, I put it out here. Why, why would you have such a gigantic sign indoors? This is more practical. But there is a bit of a gap there. Wait, so you're not making anything either? Who's making it something? Has to be this this one. Let's see. I have weeds on my island. It's not perfect, perfect. Okay, how about this? Let's let's stress test this. There's a weed there. Let's get a piece of garbage and put it next to the weed. I don't think it matters, but okay. Take this piece of garbage. I'm just littering now. <laughs> I don't know, this could just be another case of... I'm just that unlucky, and it'll be exactly like... The Sturgeon, where I just caught it... After so much, so much attempts. Wait, you're not craft- who's crafting today? No one's crafting. Who haven't I visited? Who haven't I visited? Alice is out and about. So is Audie. So who- You're out and about, Scoot? No scoots out in the so then no one's crafting. Maybe, huh? I don't know. I'm gonna give up <laughs> and just go with the turnip thing. It was such a long time ago that I don't even remember if on the original island it took this long to find the flies. I seem to remember having tree stumps and tires around the tree stumps. And I do remember doing laps, but I don't remember if it took a long time. It's about all I remember. Getting rid of it. <sighs> I 
damn it. <laughs> I think the worst part is just the fact that there's mosquitoes. That's tricking me into thinking, oh, that's a fly. Yeah, see that? Look at it, it's like reflecting light. Alright, we'll do one more lap, and if I get it, I get it. I still gotta go to the Happy Home Island and just... Oh, okay, that's broken too. I gotta get the recipe and stuff from the island. I'm just gonna go buy the slingshot. One more lap. Frog umbrella. <laughs> I kind of want to gift that to Scoot. I think that would suit Scoot pretty well. Well, I'm not sure what umbrella Scoot has, but I'll keep it in, in storage. Maybe the umbrella Scoot has is better. These flies are too good for my garbage, I guess. Alright. <laughs> I give up. I tried. I'm gonna go plant this money tree and then I'm gonna go to the Happy Home Island. Can't say I didn't try. On. What is this fish? Ah, no mind. I'm already here. 
One last delusional look. Okay. Now I actually give up. Alright, moving on. My thoughts exactly, Turtle. Still looking for the thing. Or oh, a fly. It's alright. I'll just... There's another method I can use. I just have to get up in the morning tomorrow to buy turnips. But hey, Nick, how's it going? Yeah, I, I did my best. It's probably just one of these things that I've just been really unlucky with. I don't think I did anything wrong. Oh, another one of my original villagers. Oh yeah, they have these set up now. I forgot there's something about to happen here. I finished the near VODs. GG on the first playthrough. Yeah. It was fun. Love. There's so many questions of things up in the air, but I haven't had a chance to play it again. You're annoyed by the chest in your first playthrough. Oh, I am. I am definitely annoyed by the chest. It's like. I'm coming across them and like, alright, there's probably a payoff for it, like, but nope. But I mean, the... When I went back to the factory, just that sequence and the music in the factory, it was really good. Yeah... spider boss when the lights was off was amazing yeah the only minor bit of critique is just the camera was a bit strange at times but otherwise it was just good that boss fight i found more entertaining than the final boss fight well final for that first playthrough i'm sure there's like some real real final boss but that was fun Still holding out for the fish and chips. Is that a koala that's like... Eve. 
didn't have as much damage with the pod for some reason. Yeah, I just didn't... I, it was a level 1 pod. I just never really farmed the materials required for it because I didn't know where to get them. I think it was fine, ultimately. But I guess I would have to look for those materials. Because I imagine that's going to be a problem. Nothing really interesting on sale. You're using the machine gun pod. Yeah, I think the machine gun pod probably would have done more on average. I don't know. It's a good exchange, right? So let's do that. I forgot to check the new stuff that was added from the build that I did. Amazing machine. Yeah, some of the stuff is weird. It's probably a reference to something. I haven't been through this list in a while, so I'm just going to take my time. And look if there's anything I want. I wonder if I can purchase food through here. I doubt I can. Well, no, it does have it, but that's not food. It's like an item. Maybe. Oh, we'll see. skeleton. <laughs> That's good food. Let's go to look through this, because sometimes I'll have an idea, and then I forget it. So looking through this list, it just refreshes, and I can kind of see if there's anything that I can get for the island. I didn't get an exercise ball for the gym, did I? I don't know where I would put it, though. That doesn't matter. That gym has plenty of equipment. I don't think it's gonna give me the uh, the pet house. I've been wanting that item for a while, but it hasn't made it available for purchase. Oh, so I guess it didn't have fish and chips. I 
I mean, see, something like that... Maybe later. Because I could probably use it, it's minor, but... There's always a chance that I just straight up find that, because it's, it's not an expensive item. stuff is good. Omu rice is amazing. Yeah, nothing really stands out at the moment. <sighs> Disappointment. <laughs> no pet house. Is it a kennel? I guess, like, it would probably be a, a kennel, but it, either way, it's not there. I have every other one, but just... For some reason, it's not appearing on the list, even though I can pick it when I go build things. Yeah, I mean... A robot arm? Some of the stuff is pretty cool. If I buy the amazing machine, I won't have anything money for brass, but it means nothing about what to buy. Well, I'm saving for the yacht, so I already have something that I'm aiming for. That's just more, I didn't see if there's any small items that I can buy that might enhance, like, a build that I have. Plus, I was kind of hoping fish and chips would be purchasable, but it's not, unfortunately. But I'm saving for the yacht. But I do like to check every now and then. It's a vehicle cabin seat. But if you had them facing a particular way, you could make it look like they were... You could do, like, an, a theater. With a projection screen. Probably do it. I do have the screen. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea for somewhere. It's just, I guess... Flowers need to get out of the way first. <laughs> before I attempt something like that. Yeah, so that's what I'm saving for. It's like, I'm getting there. Oh, that's... Okay, this one I'll buy because for the tea house, that makes sense. And it's pretty cheap. There you go. 
I did get something. Well, I only got one, so then... If I do need more, I can buy it with the other currency. Let me just double check that I didn't accidentally go past F. Fish container, yeah. Fishing... There's no fish and chips food. Damn. I find it weird that... To make fish and chips... You need this fish that isn't available in the summer, and I don't know. Like, I associate fish and chips with summer. I see it as, like, something that you go to the beach and maybe for lunch you have that. I would have realized sooner, because I did get an island that was set in spring. I probably could have gotten the fish then. See if anything's changed on this whole like event that they're throwing. Hey, that was weird. <laughs> I guess I was slightly off. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was just seeing if the, that was going to progress any further, but I guess not. I'm not feeling too creative today. <laughs> so I'm not going to do, like, one of the island home things. Well, I think most of these ones, they... I think I know the themes. Like, that one, sports... So there's nothing really that stands out today. I just wanted to do the fishing competition because I'd never done that before. And I did that. And also put up the stuff that I bought. Check that everything is all accounted for. Pretty sure it is. I mean, when it comes to the the fly, I'll just get a stack of turnips tomorrow, and then I'll just make them rot. Yeah, so, like, I'm kind of hesitant to get rid of a lot of these blue ones, because I did want blue, but this is a lot. I just don't want to do anything with the flowers yet. Anyway. I'll leave it for now. The only thing that I haven't gotten for today is just the crafting recipe, but no one appears to be graft crafting today. I checked. Like, I checked you. The only explanation is just maybe the person that is crafting just isn't home at the moment. Pretty sure I went into Petco, so let's just double check. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's the only thing I haven't done today. I've been trying to get the recipes. I just want that golden armor. I'll do one last sleep and see if maybe one of them went home. Maybe because of the fishing competition's on, that's why no one's crafting. Or was on. I am positive I visited Pietro's, but like, for sanity's sake. Yeah, you're not crafting. I know for sure that they weren't crafting. Ah, no one's crafting. Like, this was the last house I checked and yeah, they weren't crafting. Alright, well, I, I guess that'll do it. Just to make this easier for a thumbnail later, because I haven't done this before. Okay. Easy. Alright. We'll leave Animal Crossing for here. Here for now. It's good. The, uh, the venue looks good now. I ordered one more gnome to place as a guard, though. It's the only thing I think I'll do for it. But otherwise, I think the house is done... There might be a couple of other things outstanding. I think the air conditioning units is the other thing, but I'm not about to spend like thick 60,000 pokey just to get an air conditioning unit. Maybe after I've bought the yacht, but I think that's probably the only detail that's missing from the interior. Everything else is, is cool. All right, well, I'm not done with the stream yet, but I am done with Animal Crossing, so. If you're here for that, thanks for tuning in. Also, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just click buttons like the like button or one of the videos that pop up if you want to watch me do other things. But yeah, either way, it helps out a lot. So thank you to those that do do that. But we'll uh, see you next time.